Hey, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you for joining me today. My name is Jesse, and you are on my channel, Kid Zone Artapalooza. I want to remind everyone to please, if you haven't done so already, um, subscribe to the channel and hit the little alert icon next to the subscribe button on this page. It would really help support my channel, help it grow. It's a brand new channel, and by you guys doing that, it really helps me to grow. So I would really appreciate that. What do we do on this channel? I walk you guys through some really cool little paintings. I teach you how to draw a little bit and how to paint a little bit. So what are we doing today? We're going to be doing Mr. SpongeBob SquarePants. Check him out. He's saying hello to everybody. I think he wants a hug. Look at him. He's holding his hands. I think he wants a hug. He wants to hug all, everybody that's watching right now. Anyway, why are we doing Mr. SpongeBob? One, because he's going to be fun to do, but two, because I have a nephew named Damien who lives in San Jacinto, San Jacinto, California. His mom, Crystal, uh, sent me some pictures of some of the art that he does. Apparently, Damien is a pretty good little artist himself. He's going to be nine next month, and he's really into Bob Ross. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Bob Ross is one of the first people that I know of anyway to do art video tutorials uh, on TV. Um, I used to watch him from time to time back in the day. Um, I'm sure a bunch of parents that are out there know who I'm talking about. But anyway, Damien is into Bob Ross, and he's a really good little artist. I asked his mom um, what cartoon characters he'd like, uh, and she told me that he's really into, um, into Mr. SpongeBob, among other characters. So we're doing, Bob, uh, we're doing uh, SpongeBob because of Damien. Hi, Damien. Hope you're watching. Uh, hope you have fun with this, and I hope all of you guys out there have fun as well. But wait a minute. Normally, I like to wear superhero shirts when I paint. Not today. Well, actually, maybe I am wearing a superhero shirt. Some of you guys are going to consider this guy a superhero. Check this out. Check this out. Bam! Bob Ross himself painting the galaxy. How cool is that? Um, this was given to me a couple of Christmases ago by my sister-in-law, my brother, and my nieces. I think they... Uh, well, I know my, my brother and my sister-in-law did. Anyhow, uh, they know I'm, I like Bob Ross, so they gave me that for, um, for Christmas some time back. But wait a minute. That is not all that's related to Bob Ross that I'm wearing. Better move this out of the way or I'm going to knock that over. Check this out. Don't be jealous, guys. Check this out. Bam! Look at that. Bob Ross, Happy Clouds, Socks. How cool are those? How cool are those? Look, it says right here, happy clouds, and there's Mr. Bob Ross. There's Mr. Bob Ross. I bet you guys weren't expecting that. Anyway, so I like Bob Ross too, Damien. All right, boys and girls, let's get ready to do this. First part, actually, we're going to do this in two videos. First part is going to be us drawing SpongeBob out, and then the video right after will be us painting Mr. SpongeBob. Did I say Bob? <laughs> we're going to be drawing Bob Ross out. We're going to be drawing SpongeBob and painting SpongeBob. All you need is a basic pencil, nothing fancy to do the drawing. Up to you if you want to outline and pen and stuff. And I'll go over that once we start the actual drawing process. Um, but to paint it, I'm going to be using acrylic paints. You don't need to use acrylic paints. You can use uh, crayons. You could use watercolors. You can use markers. Pretty much whatever you have at home uh, to color him in once we've got him drawn is all good. All right, boys and girls, let's get ready to do this. See you guys in a sec. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are here ready to draw Mr. SpongeBob first. I like to have whatever it is that we're working on on the side so you guys can all see what our um, what we're trying to do, right? What we're trying to get to. Uh, so this is Mr. SpongeBob. And, um, oh, let me show off my... A little superhero, my Avengers Cup. Check that out. How cool is that? The Hulk, Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, and Black Widow. What do you guys think? So cool, huh? Yeah. Anyway, so I always, um, for those of you that have followed some of my other videos before, you, what I when we're going to draw something, what I like to do first, if you look at the whole thing all at once, it's pretty, it looks complicated. There's all kinds of stuff going on. And if you don't have a lot of experience drawing, you might feel like you're overwhelmed. So what I always say is break things down into smaller parts, into parts so that you can um, 
It makes it easier for, for your brain to understand. Okay, you want to start with simple first. If you can, break things down into shapes. Shapes is um, one way to look at something. So, for example, if we were to look at Mr. SpongeBob, he's an overall rectangle, right? His body's pretty much a rectangle. And then look, what are his eyeballs? His eyes themselves are circles, and inside the actual, the actual uh, um, center of his eyes are also circles. The sleeves are like little almost boxes, not quite, or little rectangles, right? Um, his his mouth is a partial smile. His teeth are squares. This his shirt, it's a long rectangle. So are his shorts, a rectangle, rectangle. His shoes are a little box, and then you have almost like a little partial circle. What are his legs but long rectangles, right? So when you start looking at things like that, it makes it easier to be able to process what you're going to do. It makes it easier for your brain to understand, okay? So first thing, let's do this. Um, I want you to, let's draw, his, let's draw his body first, okay? So you're going to find where the bottom, where you're going to do it, whatever you're drawing on, paper. I'm using a canvas. This is an 8 by 10 inch canvas. You guys can use construction paper. You guys can use drawing paper. Whatever it is that you guys have that'll help you draw this out, that's what you're going to be using. So let's uh, let's work on his body first. We're going to work on the outside of Mr. SpongeBob. And before we draw him out, I said he looks like a rectangle, right? But if you notice a little bit, so he's a little narrower at the bottom than he is than he is at the top. So let's start with the top. I'm not going to make all this wavy stuff here first. All I'm going to do is draw the top of his head. So I'm just going to draw a little line across. And don't worry, I know this is going to be a little light right now. I'm going to come in and darken it up in a, in a minute. But for those of you that are at home, know that I'm drawing a line that's going across. Actually, I'll start to darken it in right now. And the reason I don't darken it too much at the beginning is because I need, if I need to make a correction, it's easier for me to make the correction with light lines, right? If I go too dark and I, I have to erase, and it's okay to erase. It's not a problem if you have to erase. Some people don't like to have to erase it. They get frustrated. But part of drawing is that sometimes you have to make corrections. Art itself, you have to make some corrections sometimes. So anyway, there's the top of Mr. SpongeBob. I'm going to do the bottom, and the bottom is going to be, so this part here, where the bottom of his pants are, not, not his actual pant legs, or actually these are, these look, these are shorts. But anyway, um, this part right here, okay? So I'm just going to come over and draw a little line across. Now this, this line isn't going to be as wide as this one, right? This one's not going to be quite as wide. A little narrower. I said earlier that he narrows at the bottom, right? So there's my line. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. I'm not too stressed over that. Now I just noticed that this line is almost as long as it's almost as long as this part. So I wanna I wanna bring that in just a little bit. So as you're drawing, you wanna take a look. Look at what you're doing, right? Look at the overall picture. Okay, do I need to make adjustments? Okay. If you have to make adjustments, make an adjustment. There's nothing wrong with making adjustments. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, I'm going to connect here and here. So here I go. Looks like it goes in a little bit. That goes in a little bit. I'm going to block what I'm doing with my hand a little bit on this side. I'm going to try not to. Maybe I, maybe I can get away with, with it like this. So here I go. There we go. Another thing, I know a lot of people have a hard time painting, uh, drawing and painting with their hand free floating like this. What you can do is you can use your hand, for example, the palm of your hand will, can sit on the actual canvas and that'll help support your hand. Okay, like when I did this line here, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the palm of my hand was right here up against the canvas and it makes it easier to make that line a little straighter, right? If I'm like this, especially if I'm not used to it, my hand might shake a little bit. Another way to do it, since I'm working on an easel, I could put my hand on my table here and I'll come over, put the hand that I'm drawing with or painting with like this, rested on my arm, and again, that gives me a little support. Okay, just a couple little tips that you guys can use um, as you're doing this. Okay, moving on. Let's draw. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to draw this line across where the top of his shirt is. Okay, so all I'm going to do is find a little section. I don't want to make it too down low to the close to the bottom because then it's going to be too small of an area. So I want to go. Um, if you want to, if you were to, if you were to be able to separate your SpongeBob into quarters, actually fifths or quarter or quarters and I do this like this I just kind of go one two three four so we've got about four right there I'm happy with that I'm going to go with about a, a quarter so this is about an inch maybe inch and a half approximately folks don't stress too much over this all right here I go okay 
And there I go. Okay. I'll look at it. I like it. I like what I'm doing. So, you know, here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and use a marker, a pen, uh, an ink pen to color in what I've got. I'm going to use, let's see, you guys can do this at home if you want. It's not necessary, um, but it will help you, you see your lines once you've, uh, once you've, uh, you start to paint it. I'm actually only going to do this here. Mm, maybe I don't want to use red for that part of it. Hold on a second, guys. I'm going to use, all right, I'm going to use a, a dark pencil. Call, this is a colored pencil. I'm just coloring the top here. I'm going to come down. I can always cover this up with paint. Okay, I'm not worried that that's going to stick out. All right, there we go. Now, you guys all see that this is nice and wavy. So I'm going to do that first before I go in and darken it up. So here I go. So this is the outer edge of Mr. SpongeBob's body, right? Nice and wavy. And it can be random, guys. Yours can be wavier than mine or less, etc. I'm not, that's not as important. So I'm going to keep my little wavy lines. I'm going to erase all of my straight lines around Mr. SpongeBob's body. Remember what I said earlier? You want to keep these light so you can come in and erase. They're going to get covered up with paint anyway. So um, that's going to help, but I still want to go through and eliminate, erase these as much as I can. The straight lines that we made around his body. So now all we have left are some curvy, wavy lines, and I'm going to come in whoop, 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 with my pencil. This is, I'm using brown here. Even though SpongeBob is going to be yellow, I'm using brown so you guys at home can see what I'm doing. All right, it can come through in the camera. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't do this part because you know I don't have a problem seeing the pencil marks here at my house, in my studio. All right, cool. So what do we have? We have Mr. SpongeBob's body, right? The outside of his body, and then we have where his pants and his shirt are gonna be. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw this line in between the top of his shirt and the bottom of his pants. So I'm gonna come across. So here's the middle. Let's find the middle first between the top and the bottom. Here's the middle. I'm gonna move up just a little bit, and then I'm gonna come across like this. I'm going to leave a little, actually, yeah, I'm going to go all the way across. Let's go all the way across. Okay, again, stay light. I'm going to stay nice and light for now. Don't worry about um, getting stuck, making it too dark right just yet. Okay, we're going to make it nice and light. And again, hopefully you guys at home can see what I've done. If not, I'm going to color it in here in just a second. Before I go and darken that line in, I want to add Mr. SpongeBob's tie. And what is Mr. SpongeBob's tie? If you break it down, we got a triangle, upside down triangle. This part right here is a triangle. And then what's this here? This is a diamond. It's a diamond or it's two triangles. Look, if I, ha if I make these, cut these in half, this is a triangle. And then this is an upside down triangle, right? Or it's one big diamond. So let's start with that triangle up on top. So we find the middle of our line from here to here, our middle, right? From here to here, we find our middle. About the middle, doesn't have to be perfect. Right here, I'm gonna do the top of my triangle. Just come like this, make a little triangle. I'm gonna go ahead and darken that up now with my pencil. There's our our little um, top here, and now the rest of the the tie is a diamond, or like I said, two triangles. Okay. Now I'm going to darken it a bit more. If you make a mistake, simply, simply erase it. Like, I think I don't like that his ties, his bow ties a little too low. Okay. So I'm going to fix that up a little bit. I'm just going to make, I'm going to stop it about right here before the bottom of his pants. I'm going to stop it about right here. There we go. I like that better. Okay. Now I am going to use my red marker so you guys can see what I did. And I'm going to do the outline of his tie. So the top. Here's the top. Here's our triangle. That's weird. Not quite coming out red. And there's the bottom. That's all right. We can fix it with, pen, with our uh, paint later. You see the other side. Oh, I can't use that side. Okay, cool. So there's, there's our tie. Okay. Now I can come in and I'll darken up this line. I'm going to go ahead and use my pencil in this case. So you guys at home can see this. All right. Cool. What else do we have? 
What about his little belt loops? Let's let's work on his pants for now. We got some belt loops. And these are just rectangles. These are just rectangles. Okay, let's start with the ones right here on his tie. The one on the right side of his tie actually touches his tie. So it comes out, just a rectangle, come back. All right, now again, I'll, I'll darken a sec. Come out, come back. There we go, a rectangle. Now let's do this one. Rectangle. Lines up, they line up, right? These, This is his belt. That's his belt. These are the little loops. These little segments in between are the belt loops. So maybe we need to maybe make this guy a little bit longer. Again, guys, don't be afraid to erase. No problem erasing. And then we're going to make that belt loop. Rectangle. All right. There we go. All right. Nothing crazy about this. Nothing crazy about this. Let's stick with his pants. Let's do his little pant legs. Again, these, these are more like shorts, right? Not sure why he's called SpongeBob SquarePants. More like, should be more like SpongeBob Square Shorts. But uh, anyway. So let's do his little pant legs. And what are they? Just little rectangles, almost boxes. So we'll start about, about right here. Don't come all the way over to the edge, obviously, but like this. Don't worry, folks. In a second, I'm going to darken everything up. So another one over here. If you're having a hard time seeing what I'm doing. Okay. And let me go ahead and darken that up. I'm using my pencil first. Belt loops. Okay, I think you guys can all see that. At least I am hoping so. Okay, now uh, let's see. You know what? Let me um, let me do that with a, a brown pencil. Let's go back over to my brown pencil here where I put you. Oh, that's all right. We're going to use, oh, here we go. It's right here. Hiding under my easel. I'm going to darken the pants up around the edges. Pants, top, there we go. All right, let me, let me do this outline in um, a reddish marker. And the red's fine because it's going to, um, we're gonna color in his pants in brown. That should match up okay. The only reason why I'm doing it in red is so you guys can see it at home. Right, I'm, I don't want to risk me doing this whole thing and you guys aren't able to see what I'm doing. So I'm only doing this in red because of that, okay? Please do not stress about this at your, if you're watching me at home or wherever you're watching me from. You don't need to do this in red. If you have a marker and you want to do it in black or brown, it's up to you. And if you want to do it in red, that's fine too, all right? Again, I'm only strictly, I'm strictly only doing this so you guys can uh, see what I'm doing. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to outline... Um, the other parts that I've done here in black. So like up here where his shirt is, little shirt line, come across, okay, like this, and then down, and then across. There we go. So now you guys at home can, can, see, can see a little bit better, okay? So what do we have next? We're going to go up in here. We're not going to do his legs yet. We're not going to do his arms yet. Uh, we're going to do up inside. Actually, let's do his sleeves and his little collar. So we're going to, we can't forget about the collar there. So he's got this little collar. He's got a little dress shirt. SpongeBob wears a dress shirt. Who knew? He's got little collars here. Okay, so let's do those first. What are they? Little triangles. Okay, little almost, almost like perfect little triangles. So watch what I do first. I keep this light and I'm going to darken it in a second. Once I get it dialed in, I'll darken it up. So we have a line that comes down and then a line that comes over. Now I'm going to go ahead and darken this. You don't need to do this top line because that top line is already there, right? So there's one collar. I'll come over and do the same thing. I have a line that comes down at an angle from the point from here. Maybe they don't necessarily have to touch, but they could. Down and then up. Back up. Cool. Look at that. And I'm going to darken it again. I want to darken this. Man, one side of this marker is really, it's in, it's in really bad shape. All right, there we go. All right, all right, look at that. Um, cool.
And then we can also do his, we can also do his belt loops, might as well. Belt loop. There we go. Check that out. All right, Mr. SpongeBob is taking shape. So where are we going next? Let's go up and make some eyeballs. Now watch, boys and girls. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have find about the halfway part of Mr. SpongeBob. So for the halfway from, from the top, from the top of his belt, from the top of his shirt, okay, from here to the top of his head. So from here to here, let's find about where the half mark is. So all you're gonna do is kind of just, just you know, take a look at it and go, okay, this is about where my line is. You're, you're estimating where that middle line is. Where that middle line is, about, for example, right here, this is about where the middle is. That's about where his cheeks are. It's also about where his eyes, the, the white part of his eyes are. So you can, I'm going to do this really lightly here at my house. You're not going to be able to see it more than likely. I'm going to keep it light. All that does is it gives me a little reference point, a little reference line where I know his cheekbones are going to sit and his eyeballs, the bottom edge of his eyeballs are going to be, okay? And then also maybe his nose. His nose might be there as well. So I'm going to start with his right eye, and I know a lot of times people have a hard time drawing. Actually, I'm going to start with his left eye. You'll see here why in a moment. I know people have a hard time drawing circles, but take your time with it. To stabilize my hand, what am I doing? I'm putting my hand here on to my table. I'm resting my other, my drawing hand over it. Now I can come over here. I'm going to find a little spot where the top of the eye is. So right here. Okay. And all I'm going to do is slowly, lightly too, lightly, I'm going to make a circle. Again, if you guys have to make corrections, make corrections. I'm coming over and I'm not going to, actually, I'm going to go ahead and close it. I'll close the circle all the way around. I'm going to keep this light for now. Now what I want to do um, so this part of his, of his eye should be about at the center of between here and here, right? So if I need to increase it, I'm going to make a little adjustment, make it a little bit bigger. When I need to erase lines, if I need, if I need to erase some lines, I will come back and erase some, some lines in a little bit. I'm not worried about that just yet. Okay. So here we go. And again, I'm keeping this light for now. Don't, don't worry. I'm going to fix that in a moment. I'm going to come over and do his other eye. So I'm going to do this with his eye. I'll start right here. Right where this eye, the edge of this eye right here, I'm gonna start there. Come over. Try make, trying to make them about the same size, all right? Come over. Keeping it light. Touch my line here. I'll come back up. And now this eye overlaps into the other eye. So like right here. So I am closing that eye, but it is coming a little bit into this eye, right? Here's the edge of this eye, and then it comes into that eye a little bit. So now I'll look at it, and like these little lines here where I had to make adjustments, I'm gonna remove those. I'll just come in and erase these out, right? So remember folks, boys and girls, uh, drawing is about making corrections as you go. There's nothing wrong with having to correct. Cool, so we have SpongeBob's, we have the outside of SpongeBob's eyes. Now let's do the inside. What are they? Circles, they look like marbles. So I'm gonna do the right eye, eyeball first the inside there's that and you guys notice I'm making the circle I do it a few times till I get it and as I, each time as I as I'm going I'm adjusting remember guys I'm gonna I'm gonna color this in in just a moment I'm gonna do the outlines so we'll do the inside here too there we go watch what I'm doing I'm just going around it till I get the right shape and then if I have to erase I'll go in and erase Everything looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, outline the outer edge of my Mr. SpongeBob's eye. Oops, kind of messed that up a little bit because I'm going real quick. That's all right. I'm covering that up with paint. Okay. Come over and do the same thing. All right. See, this eye's going to need a little bit of adjustment once I do the paint. No big deal. All right, that's looking good. So I want to do the inside. I'm going to out, outline the inside in blue just so you guys can see. Normally, I would do this all with paint once I'm painting, okay? I wouldn't be using markers for this. You can if you want it at home. There's nothing wrong with it. 
I'm only doing this, and I know I've repeated myself a bunch of times, but I just want to make it clear. The only reason I'm really outlining right now is so you guys can see what I've drawn. All right? So there's that. What's left with the eyes? Well, the little pupils in the center. These, these guys are called pupils. Okay? So they're small little circles. Okay? Same thing on the other side. All right. I'm not going to worry about these little white things. Those are ref light reflections. We're going to do those in paint. Okay? So there's that. Um, yeah, I'll come in and outline them in black because the pupils are black. There we go. Cool. What's next? Mr. SpongeBob's nose. So Mr. SpongeBob's nose, what is it? It's just an upside down U. Just an upside down U. So I'll start about where this line. Remember we did our little really light line? So I just start right about there. Come over. I know you can't see where I'm overlapping into the eyeballs because the eyeballs are so dark, but you shouldn't have to worry about that at home because you guys aren't necessarily outlining it. I am going to outline his nose in this red. Maybe you guys will be able to see it a little bit better. There we go. Cool. How is that? How's that looking? From time to time, I look over at the camera just to make sure that I can see the image uh, on my screen. So, cool. There's that. What else is there? You guys all know how to do a smile. So... From the nose, come down just a little bit, uh, maybe about halfway between the bottom of the nose and the top of the shirt, about, about. And you're just going to go, big smile. Mr. SpongeBob is happy to see you guys. Whoop. Erase that. Actually, I'm going to erase that. Mr. SpongeBob is happy to see everybody. All right, cool. Then we got these little, the, the outer lines of his mouth. On the outer edges of his smile, like this. Okay. And then let's do, might as well do his cheekbones. We're going to go ahead and do his cheekbones. And what are they again? They're almost upside down U's. Instead of being straight upside down like a U would be, sorry, uh, they're a user like this. It's a side, they're sideways and upside down U's. Okay. So use like this, kind of like that. All right. So here, here we go. And they can, the, the cheek line can touch his eyeball. That's okay. Doesn't have to like that all right let me color those in i'm going to use um i'm going to use i'm going to use this color see if this guy comes in it's like a like a brown copperish color i think you can see that there we go actually I, i'm going to do the mouth in black this is just for this just coloring in those cheeks now Come in and do the smile in black. All right. Bam, just like that. So we have his nose, we have his cheeks. We don't have his uh, teeth. His teeth look like little chiclets. I'm not sure if you guys know what chiclets are. There's little square gums. Chiclets. So here I go. And there's a little separation in between the two. So I'm going to do the one on the right. It's like a little box. And I'm going to do the one on the right, on the left. The other right. <laughs> Just like that. Okay? And they don't have to be exactly the same size they can if you want them to be. Um, oh, something you guys can't see at home probably, but he's got these little, little beard whiskers right around his cheeks. So I'm going to do those in here. They're just little dots. Three or four of them should do it. There we go. Let me go ahead and darken those up. Okay, there we go. Again, they're just little dots. And then might as well do the outline of his teeth. Again, boys and girls, you don't have to outline anything right now. You're just drawing. So I'm outlining so you guys can see what it is that I'm drawing. Okay. Uh, what's left on the inside of his mouth? Oh, his little chin on the inside of his face. His little chin. That's a little chin. He's got these two little, almost like a, like an S, a little S curves almost. Comes down over. Here's our S, and then it starts to go up again. Okay, and this little part, this little hump part, is in the middle between his teeth. So maybe we'll start with that and make a little hump, a little upside down U, and then I curve it out on each side, just like that. Let me darken that up. I'm gonna use that gold again. Okay, we started with the hump, so we'll start with that hump, curve it out, curve it out. All right, 
What's left, everyone? We got these little... They look like birthmarks, but he... So SpongeBob is a sponge, right? He lives in the ocean. He's a sponge. And uh, sponges, well, he's got these little... They have holes. So I'm assuming that's what those are. So let's go ahead and do those. And it's like little ovals. And your, your, um, your SpongeBob can have as many as you want. Or as few as you want. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of follow the original that I made. And make a few little ovals. There we go. And then I'll come in and outline them. All right. SpongeBob. I don't know. I think SpongeBob in Spanish is um, Bob Esponja. Esponja is sponge in Spanish, so I believe that's what they call Mr. SpongeBob. It's a little trivia for you guys. Bob Esponja. If you guys, if I'm wrong and you guys know better, let me know in the comments. All right, so what do we have? We have Mr. SpongeBob's body. We are missing a few little things like the sleeves and the, um, and his arms. So let's make the sleeves. The arms are probably might be the hardest thing for you guys to do. So let's start with the sleeves. Well, sleeves are. So on the original right here, the sleeves start right below his cheekbone. So you got his cheekbone right here. You kind of come down a little bit and come over to the left. We'll start with that one. So cheekbones here, I come down a little bit, come over to the left. There's the top of his sleeve. I come down. It's almost like a rectangle or a square. And I don't have to make this line. We're using his body for that one. So there's one there. Let me darken that. Well, for that one, we're going to darken it up in black. So bam, bam, and then bam again. Almost, almost like a square. And I'm going to come over to the other side, come down from his cheek a little bit, or we can go right across from here like this. Come over, top, side, and then bring that in. Let's darken it up. I came into his body a little bit, but that's all right. We'll fix that with the paint. Okay, let's do, um, let's do his arms. So for his arms, we're going to start with the right arm. Okay, I'm going to draw two little skinny lines okay you're not going to be able to see them very well but i drew one here and then i drew one right above it so each finger is like a little rectangle okay so let's start with that bottom finger this one right there so i come over i come up and then i bring that in again that's like a little rectangle i'll do that again for the next finger over up and then in over across in and one more. I'm making these a little bit bigger so you guys at home can see them. And then uh, I'm going to mark, I'm going to try darkening these up with a colored pencil. So over, up, and then back in. Okay, and one rectangle. Maybe not quite a rectangle, but almost. Over, up, and then back in. Okay, there's two fingers. Over, cross, back in. We got three fingers up over down four fingers and we connect these to the look at that not so hard right not so hard remember boys and girls at any time you guys need to pause this go back please do so if i'm going too slow if you didn't catch anything you guys can watch this video as many times as you guys want you guys can follow along and redo spongebob as many times as you guys want okay don't worry if you're not getting it exactly right this first time Practice does make perfect. Okay, so let's do his other arm, his left arm. So again, we got this little, we got his uh, actual arm that comes across. We're going to do two lines. Oops, I'm going to switch back to my pencil. Two lines. And this one could be a little longer than that one, no big deal. Okay, we got two lines right there. And then we got his four fingers. So rect what, what did we say they are? Rectangles. Come over, up, back. Maybe it's not a complete rectangle, right? It's the beginning of a rectangle. Next finger, over, across, back. Okay, you guys all see that? I know I'm moving this around a little bit. Over, across, down. And then his last finger, over, across, down. So break each one down. They're little rectangles that connect back to his hand. So let me darken it up. Over, up. Across, over, up, and across. Over, up, cross, down. Up, across, whoops, down, 
Mistakes are going to happen, folks, from time to time. Don't stress out. Practice makes perfect. I've been drawing and painting since I was really little. Actually, drawing since I was really small. I didn't start painting until a few years back. Well, let me adjust this guy back into the camera view here. Um, but I've been drawing since I was pretty young. So um, I've had, I've had my, my share of frustration. Um, but practice, 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 practice. Okay, we got two feet. We got two feet. We're going to do this leg first. Come down. It's kind of like we did with the arms. We did two lines. One line, two lines, okay? Let's go do the same thing on this side. One line, two lines. All right, those are his little skinny legs. Now, look. let's look at the feet. Look what we got. What we got. So let's break it down. It could be a little complicated for some people, but this is like a little square or like a little cup. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Here's the top of the cup, one side, other side, and the bottom of the cup. And then these are, this could be like a, like a C, like a long C that connects to that cup. So let's do that. So watch what I mean by cup. So this goes up, curves a little tiny bit. Come down, curves again, and then we can kind of do this. Actually, let's complete the cup in this case. All right, now watch. This part here, I'm gonna start not right at the top. I'm gonna start here at the bottom, a little bit lower, and it's a C, long C. Look at that, all right? And we can kind of do this, bring it up a little higher right here. I'm gonna come over here, do the same thing. Little cup, here's the top of our cup, bring it down. One side of the cup, other side of the cup, curves up a little bit. And then this C is in the opposite direction. So it goes up, comes back, and there we go. Mr. SpongeBob has shoes now, look at that. Cool, now let me, let me uh, darken those in. I'm gonna use black for the shoes. Let me demonstrate the little cup thing again. No, we don't wanna use that side, I forgot. Okay, here we go, so. Um, little cup come up come down okay I'm gonna do the other cup too curve one side of the cup other side of the cup and it comes over backward C okay and then backward C on the other side when you fill this in with black paint you're not gonna see that line this is all gonna be dark like the sh those shoes are okay and then I might as well darken up his uh, his little, his little uh, skinny legs, I'm using the gold on each side. I got some on the inside, that's okay. All right. And the only thing is left is the ground. Um, we can go ahead and do that now. Just run a, a line all the way across from the bottom of one shoe, pull all the way across, and then do that to the other side, all the way across, and then connect the two in the middle. And there's our floor. How cool is that? Look at SpongeBob's all happy. I think he's happy that um, that we're drawing him. So, boys and girls, um, that's um, our drawing session for now. Uh, we're going to, you know, uh, we're going to be draw. We're going to be painting this in a little bit. Okay, so uh, uh, look for the video. It's going to be in a second video. So look for that. Again, guys, uh, if you missed any of this, simply go back, watch it again. You can draw SpongeBob, watch the video as many times as you guys want. Be patient with yourselves. Don't worry if anything does anything doesn't come out perfect. Oh, I'm forgetting something. What about those eyelashes? I'm sure some of you guys at home caught that. His eyelashes. Can't leave him without eyelashes. Okay, so each one's got three eyelashes. Let's do the right eye. We got a little, we're gonna start with the one in the middle to make it easier. Let's find a little center, right? Center of the top. And it's a little longer than the other one. So there's one. There's one to his right. And then there's one to the left. Do that again over here. One to the middle, one on the right, and one on the left. Woo, almost forgot those. What? Poor SpongeBob, sorry guy. There we go, there we go, there we go. And now our SpongeBob is complete. Anyway, as I was saying, um, don't get frustrated. Take your time with drawing. It, it, you will get better with practice. That is definitely something that uh, you, know, you guys need to keep in mind. Some of you are, um, 
you know, have a lot of patience. Other people don't have as much patience. But you want to have patience when it comes to creating art. Anyhow, boys and girls, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Like the video. It really helps me um, grow the channel. And it helps me to be able to come back and make more of these. Also, if you guys have any requests for me, please uh, put them in the comments below. Maybe you guys want to see a particular cartoon character done. If you guys have a favorite character, put it in the comments. Comment below and I'll come back and, um, and do that. Maybe, right? If it's a popular thing. I, I don't know how many requests I'll be getting and stuff. It all depends on that too. But, um, but yeah, put, put it in the comment section. And I would love to come back and do a tutorial on something like that. As long as it's a popular thing. But alright everyone. Thank you guys for joining me. And once you've got this all drawn out. Please look for the, um, the painting video. That's going to be uploaded. Um, connected to this. Okay. Alright. Thank you guys. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye bye.